Hey guys, it's Lena here again, and in this short clip, I'll show you how to add extra crunch to your electric guitars with this tube culture to make them stand out and hit hard. Let's go! Properly processed electric guitars can do no wrong and speak to all audiences, no matter what genre or style. The original rack hardware unit, which this tube culture has been modeled after, is known for its ability to make electric guitar buses cut through dense mixes while adding the extra crunch. This is how our guitars sound dry. And here's how they sound with this tube culture engaged. So let's take a look at how to set up our effect to achieve this result. Inside of our DAW session, we see a drum bass track, a bass track, and a guitar bass track, which we will focus on today. There are three guitar tracks inside of it. The first two are different takes of the same riff, while the third, centrally pan track, fills up the stereo image with a slightly different tonal quality. As for this tube culture, in this case, it is inserted directly onto the track and not being used as a sand. Let's now move on to its effect settings. In this particular case, we will work with the drive and mix controls as well as the advanced panel to take advantage of its stereo processing and compression capabilities. Next up, we will crank up the dry wet mix knob to 100% and then slowly start to increase the drive control to a higher value, like this. We can already hear the difference. You can hear that the signal is crunchy, but not necessarily louder than the original dry signal. Moving on, we will set the presence mode, which emphasizes the high frequencies, making the sound brighter. Now let's expand the advanced panel. Here we will set the stereo mode to all R mode, which will affect the signal across the whole stereo image. Finally, the last thing is to set the dynamics control to the right, which activates the upward compressor and set it to around 45%, which will put more emphasis on quiet details and help them cut through. So now that our sound is ready, let's listen to the dry and wet version within the context of the rest of the mix. Like this. Sounds really nice, and that's really it. Hopefully this gives you an idea on how you can use the disc tube culture to make your guitars stand out with a bit of extra attitude. For more videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you soon.